Hello guys, this is Mauro from PrimfoTech.com and on this video I will walk you through the steps to upgrade to the Windows 10 for Creators Update. An upgrade instead of doing a clean installation allows you to keep your files, apps and settings. In other words, it's just like installing a quality update like those you get every month, but with the difference that the full Creators Update brings new features and changes. Although upgrading to a new version of Windows 10 is usually an easy process, it is always recommended to do a full backup before proceeding. I will be leaving a link in the video notes to a video that walks you through all the steps to do a backup on Windows 10. Technically, there are three ways to upgrade to a new version of Windows 10. You can use Windows Update, which is the recommended process, and when the update is ready for your device, you will get a notification to use the settings app to install the update. So basically, the only thing you have to do is just to open the uh, settings app, and then on Update and Security, you just go to Windows Update, and click the install button now if it is already downloaded on your device or you can try forcing the update by clicking check for update starting October 17, 2017. You can also use the update assistant which is a tool that Microsoft makes available to help devices which for unknown reasons they are not getting the update through Windows Update. Then you can also use the uh, media creation tool to install the Windows 10 full creator update on your device doing an in-place upgrade or creating a bootable media that you can use to upgrade your machine. In this video we're going to be using the uh, media creation tool to do an in-place upgrade. To do this you need to download the tool from the Microsoft support website. I'll be leaving a link to download the tool on the video notes. Once you are in the download page Simply click the uh, download tool now and save it to your desktop or you can actually like run it right away. But it's always better to save it on your desktop. I already downloaded the, uh, the file. So now I'm just going to proceed to the installation. I'm just going to double click the uh, media creation tool.exe file. Gonna click yes. Click accept to agree to the terms. Now you have two options. You have the upgrade this PC now and create installation media for another PC. Because we're doing an in-place upgrade, I'm going to be using the upgrade this PC now option and then click next. Now click the accept button. So what I just did was to disable the uh, network adapter so the media creation tool doesn't check for updates so I can skip this step and I prevent the the tool to get stuck downloading the updates. As you can see, the uh, progress is still going on but it's not downloading the, uh, the updates. After the installation, I can go to Windows Update to get the latest updates. Now we're ready to install the full Creators Update, but before going through installation, make sure that the uh, Key Personal Files and Apps option is enabled. If that's not the option selected, make sure to click the uh, Change What to Keep and make sure the Keep Personal Files and Apps option is selected. Now simply click the Install button to start the installation. And now you have successfully upgraded to the Windows 10 full Creators Update. If you want, you can also open the uh, Settings app, then go to System, Storage, click the uh, Change How We Free Up Space link, and here you can select the uh, delete previous version of Windows 10, which will delete the uh, previous installation 
if you want to make more room on your hard drive. If you don't do this, Windows 10 will automatically delete it anyways after 10 days. You can also go to Update and Security and check for updates to make sure that you have the latest updates installed on your device. In the case the update isn't working correctly and you need to go back to the previous version, if you didn't delete the previous version you can always go to the settings app and then go to update and security and then on recovery you will see this option that allows you to go back to a previous version of Windows 10. Just click the uh, get a started button and follow the on the on screen steps to go back. Remember to like the video, leave your comments and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet and I just hope this video was informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.